How's it going everyone? Today I'm going to be showing you how to program a new key in a Saab 9.5. This applies for Saab 9.5s that were considered the old generation 9.5s, which would be 1998 all the way up to 2009. This is my 2006 Saab 9.5 wagon that I picked up, and I only have one key for it. This is a perfectly functioning key which you need in order to do this process, but it's always good to have a spare key because if I were to lose this and I didn't have a spare, I'd have to replace a lot more than just the key. So today we're going to be doing just that. Here I have everything that you're going to need for this job. So of course you're going to need your tech too. Believe it or not, you do not need security access for this. Over here we have, oops, our key blade. So this can be ordered from eSaw parts and if you plug in your VIN at checkout, they can actually cut the key for you. So this should be good and ready to go when I actually put it in the ignition cylinder and go to start the car. Here we have our brains of the key. This is the part that goes inside of the key blade and is obviously what makes it actually connect to the car and work. And then we have the back part of our key right here. And on top of it, I actually got this a long time ago from eSaab. Matt sent it out to me in one of the orders. Um, you can get them on his website. This isn't a sponsored video or anything, but I figured I'd finally attach it to the uh, to this new 9.5 key, but it just says insert before flight and then Saab Heritage Museum on the back. So pretty cool. But first thing we got to do is pop this in, put the cover on, and then we can hop in the car. So here's our new key. And you can see if I go to put it into the cylinder, I can turn it, but when I go to start, nothing happens and it gives me the message on the dash key not accepted contact service so what we're going to do is power on our tech 2 here we can go ahead and put the uh, current key the old key in the ignition when you hit enter go to diagnostics put your year in mine's a 2006 95 we go down to body we go to twice it's going to take a few seconds to establish communications. Now if we go down to programming, and we hit learn transponders and remotes, and then it's asking, make sure you have all the keys and remotes of the car available. Do you want to exit? No. Put an already learned key in the ignition lock and turn the key to the on possession. Press OK to start learning remotes and keys. So we already have that done. Hit OK. So this is definitely a little bit weird compared to how you do it for a new generation 9.3. Um, but basically what you're going to do is you're going to watch the fasten seatbelt light, which is this light right up here. You're going to press the remote once per second on the unlock button. More than eight key pressings might be required. So we're going to do that first. I cut part of that out, but I pressed it about 20 times, and honestly, I didn't see anything happen with the fastened seatbelt light. So I guess we can just go ahead and try it. So I'm going to pull the old key out, and now it says, turn the key to the on position. So it works. It appears to be working. Let's see if it starts up. All right, there we go. Just reset the tech too, because I did that, but the car is running. So that is how you do a new key in the Saab 9.5. Probably takes about just as long to do it in the 9.3, although that is a completely different process for how you actually do it. So with that being said though, guys, let me know if this video was helpful. Make sure to leave a comment down below. Also check out my Patreon if you haven't already. It'll be linked at the top of the description. You can get access to extra posts and videos like this in advance before they go live on YouTube. Thank you all so much for watching. Let me know if you want to see more Tech 2 videos with the 9.5 or my 9.3s, and I'll see you all next time.